Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell you a little bit more about my mower here. Um, when I first got it, you know, I'll just set you up on the tripod. That's why I bought the damn thing. Okay, so a little history about my mower here. It is a 1994 Simplicity Lawn Mower, or the prime one. Uh, got it free from one of my milk, dad's milk customers, which is no more. Uh, what we did basically was, I had no belt, so it wouldn't, you know, it would crank over, but it wouldn't start because I think there was no belt. So we had to go buy a belt and some other supplies before we even run. Uh, it was expensive, but not too bad. Uh, brought it home, it was orange, it had the stickers on the side and the back. It had the headlights, but they were broke. It didn't have the plastic you know, shield around it. Uh, so, uh, when I got home from school, my dad had the trailer hooked up, and I'm like, why is the trailer hooked up? Well, he's like, I found a lawnmower for you, you know, because I wanted to get in the lawnmower business, and they don't have a right lawnmower. We looked at other ones. They weren't as good or fancy or very nice. This is a nice one, um, and they were spinji. Um, so I said, well, okay, let's go look at this one. Trailer hooked up with Eve. Half hour to an hour, we arrive at the guy's house. I don't know how far it was. Maybe it was just a half hour. And I'm thinking, oh, so the deck's missing. Oh, the deck's over there somewhere. So at first I thought, oh, this could be a golf cart or go kart or something, you know. But it actually came with a, a lower deck. Brought home the machine and the deck. We didn't have any uh, side panels on the trailer at the time, so it was kind of sticking out. Um, Right home, check the uh, oil. Oil was uh, just dark as you could be. Uh, filter was an okay position, you know, okay. Uh, yeah. Bought a few things for that point. Kept the hood off for like a day or two, just tested it out. And uh, I liked it. Cut some grass right off the bat. Uh, about a few days later, I'm like, I don't like the orange. Well, I bought red paint, as you can see, and uh, some masking tape to put over the letters. Well, I was in a hurry, and I wish I were to put the masking tape over the letters, because it would look nicer. It still looks nice, but it's not as nice as I want it to be. And it would say simplicity on the side and the back. That's you know coming up this summer probably. I want to restore it. I want to restore it my bike. I want to try to restore this. You know, get headlights and fix the grill there, read the letters and stuff. But I got paint, painted it. Uh, did not have a camera or a tripod at the time, so or a YouTube account, so I couldn't do anything like that. Two days later. Uh, when we first got it running, my friend Brandon was there, and me being stupid, you know, I didn't know what the exhaust was. I touched my hand on the hot exhaust, like, oh! So I ran inside, grabbed some ice, and it was just numb as could be, like my hand, just numb. So I'm, I'm like this, walking around, my hands, my arm is like this, and my other hand's like, you know, moving around and doing other things, and everybody's like, what's going on? Well, my hand's numb, I can't move it, you know? But it, it finally came back to the feeling. It hurt, but it came back. Um, now, I'll show you some other features I had and then took off. Okay, so... It's getting warm in here, I don't need this anymore.
or this radio. So when I came home, got it running, loved it and still do. Gotta turn that back up. I love this song. So, I was thirsty all the time. Had nothing to uh, uh, drink or to put my water or pop or anything. Well, this is where I put my pop. I had a uh, holder there off my sister's bike. And I painted it red to match. But then the uh, handle, the crank handle, you know, to go up and down was right there. Ouch, that fucking hurts all the time. I want to crank it. So I was thinking about taking it off and moving it there, but then I'm like, well, that's how I get off. So I was also thinking of drilling a hole right here, right where this dent is, you know? I was thinking about just drilling a little hole and putting like a little plastic cover thing on the bottom there. Put my pop there, but I'm like, well, screw that. That's just, that just looks dumb. So I took the cover, uh, thing off and uh, I always uh, had mine to go to the store I guess and grab a pop or whatever or whenever I went to my grandma's she gave me a drink uh, the seat the seat is ruined I'm getting a new one this summer I mean it, it's still comfy but not as it was when I first got it as you can see the stripping there was stripping on here you know, to connect to the metal and the plastic. Oh, when I got it, my sister thought it'd be funny to take it off. So, she took it off. She was smart back then, too. Took it off, I didn't realize it, and, uh, until I, uh, leaned forward, and I'm like, why is the seat following me? And I'm like, where's the stripping? It fell off or something. So I go home, after cutting grass, and, uh, find it in the garbage. I tried putting it back on that day, it did not work. I tried keeping it out in the sun, it didn't work. Heating it up, it didn't work. I tried anything, it just didn't work. So it's been like that for about a oh, good three years now. So every time I'm going on the highway, I take the seat off, put it in the car. Every time it's outside, I basically take the seat and put it in the porch or the garage or the house. So when it rains and it's time for me to go cut, I would just, uh, you know, the seat would be off. I'd just take this and lean it forward. I'm not going to move it because I have my shit there. And uh, then the water would just droop on down. And, yeah, it's um, dirty, dirty more. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's how uh, that seat got like that. If people were wondering, you know, when I drive down the street, like, what the hell happened to your seat? Well, that's how it happened. Um, I had... Uh, When I was at WK, I was doing this job, TA, teacher's assistant. Well, they said, yeah, you can uh, help us with uh, the kids at lunch. Well, I'm like, okay, well, I'll get a little batch to staff. I'll get extra credit to put in a class or two. I didn't get no badge. I didn't get no fucking extra credit. And they basically wasted an hour of my entire life every single day when I could be studying for a class. But no. It didn't. It pissed me off. The kids treat me like shit. And, I, and I'm like, hey, I'm like a teacher here too. You treat me with respect like like an actual teacher. No. Went to the principal, told him. They kind of stopped for a bit. And then they started up again. And I was thinking of just, you know, saying, screw it. I'm going to quit this. I want to go to an actual class that I can learn and, you know, all that crap. I said, no, they do need my help. So I just stuck with it, but I wish I didn't. Would have taught them a lesson, but you know, teachers, they never listen. Especially that fat principal, stern. I can talk shit if I want to about him. I don't like him. He probably talks shit about me all the time, about anybody, really. He's the principal. He's the elementary principal for WK now. The high school principal is uh, Rob Stewart. He used to be a fifth grade teacher of... Uh, Ben's, mine, and my brother Michael's. Awesome teacher. Yeah. I love that guy. He's just awesome. Uh, 
he's the principal for the high school. And if I was, if I didn't graduate, I'd go back to that school and I'd just shake his hand and say, thank you so much. Yeah. So that's what I would do. I mean, I can go shake his hand any time, but that's about it. I can't, I can't go there and learn. Um, but I had a kid um, come up to me the next day and say, I saw you drive your little lawnmower. Well, what happened to your deck? Well, it was off because I was going to go... Uh, it was around uh, deer hunting season. Well, I took the mower. I was going to take the mower and uh, go get a deer. Well, instead of taking that and go five, ten miles an hour down the woods, I took my four-wheeler. Much funner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, much funner. Uh, and it was faster. You know, I got it back and I had headlights and it wasn't dark at all. So, yeah. Um, I don't have the keys, so I can't start it. Can't show you what works, what doesn't. The only thing that does not work is this little seat right here. And, uh, headlights. I can take this little, uh... There, this right here. I can take this, cut a hole, and a hole here. You know, and... and wire it somewhere and you know put a switch somewhere around here because when i'm plowing snow people think i'm stupid or something because when i plow snow i go like five ten miles down the road with chains you know cling 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 on the road and they get so close to me god it pisses me off like hello if i slip on ice or something i hit your car hello whose fault is that now you're this close to me Passing through when you have a whole road to go through. You can go on the other side. Ten feet away from me so I don't hit you or you don't hit me. You know, and Mr. John Deere is right. You should put like a beacon light on there. Where the hell am I going to put that though? You know? I mean, I can't put it back here. There's no way I can put it back there. You know? I put a, a, a little light here that you know like what the police got a little bar that says left right or you know that flashes that means stop or whatever i could do that but that thing's spender on a little lawnmower mm, no it's bright enough people should know how to drive right and it's called merging on like a little room there for the mower so hopefully people see this video and learn Move the fuck over. Sorry for the language. My parking brake here, right here, don't really work. When I push down, see, it, it comes halfway up. It's supposed to come all the way up. That's all the way up. So, yeah, I gotta fix that. I've tried so many times to fix that, I don't really use it. So, yeah. I was thinking of doing this. I'm not a red. I'm not a total redneck, but I thought it'd be cool. But then I thought, hot engine, and I got to work on the deck. Okay, so I was thinking of doing this. Um, I got it from uh, Backyard J on YouTube. His name's Backyard J. Well, his name's just J, I think. But his YouTube channel's name back your J. I'll probably put a link in this, the description for you. And he, you know, uh, he doesn't really go to David's farm anymore, which I don't blame him. He lives up in Canada, uh, Ontario, Canada. So I think that's where he lives. Anyway, his exhaust for his uh, romping, they call it romping up there, romping mower. You take the deck off. So it's just like this. Basically, this is like a romping mower. You take the deck off, and you have your exhaust up front, or wherever the exhaust is on your mower. Well, mine is right here. Right here, you know. I was thinking of, uh, yeah, there's a hole right here. I, I, holy cow. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but, uh, there's a giant hole. I can stick my finger right through it. Right here. Holy cow. That's why the exhaust comes out. See, this is where the exhaust is supposed to come out. Right here. That's all disintegrated. 
I'm gonna need a new one soon. That's probably like a $30 bill right there. Anyway, I was thinking of uh, extending it somehow, like a, a metal piece of just um, shooting it out downward, over, and then along here. You know, so it'd be coming from the axle here, from the front axle, wherever the hood, you know, like where the hood measures or whatever, from the hood down and right here and then it'd be pointing like uh, this way you know pointing like that on each side I was thinking that for an exhaust that'd be pretty cool but then I just thought work on the mower deck excuse me hot engine ouch I mean it'd be pretty cool and it's it's my mower I can do whatever I want with it you know so uh I'm gonna ask Dad about that, you know, see what he thinks. And if he says, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's your mower, you can do whatever you want, then I know he'll say, sure, go ahead. But I need the, I need the uh, equipment. You know, I need the torch. I don't have that torch. I need the uh, metal piece or whatever to put, to make it go. Or at least, if I do it, it'd be only on one side because I could just do it on one side instead of two sides. Yeah. Because, uh, it'd probably be on this side. Because all I got on this side is the handle. And I really don't go on and off on this side. Oh, this is a good song. Because, uh, on this side, I'd be under here, taking it all apart. I go around the mower and the handle on that side to raise up and down for the the grass cutter. Um, I would pull it out that way. So it'd probably be on that side. I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? You know, give me some ideas here. <laughs> you know, that's why I bought a tripod to make good uh, good videos, and I want to make some good videos, not just some shitty ones. You know. I'm getting way off topic here. I'm just talking on so uh you you think you guys uh send a message or two you know to me and or comment or whatever and uh see what you think and i'm definitely buying headlights for next winter that'll be another video i got lots of videos coming up fixing the mower fixing the four-wheeler because that thing is just crap already so and the bikes but for the bikes, it'll probably just be, uh, you know, look at the first bike. Look at my second bike I paid so much for. Now I'm taking these parts off, putting on this bike. You could say goodbye to this bike, you know. I'm not going to go into detail. Okay, this is what I did with this bike. This is what I did with that bike. I have till like, April 15th or the 16th to get all the parts off one bike and, and switched because the guy I'm giving it to uh, he said no rush, but dad wants to give it to him by like, I think it's like taxes. Uh, it's like the 15th or 16th, that's when we do our taxes or whatever here in Minnesota. And he lives over in Wisconsin, I think. So, he wants to do it like that. So, yeah. I'm going to, uh... I'll work on this tomorrow. I'm already tired. I'm talking. Mm. I'm tired. Well, I'm gonna go inside and ask Dad about that. And uh, I'll up still got a few videos to upload. So <laughs> yeah, I'll be uploading a lot tonight. Mm -hmm. so, talk to you guys later.